All right, quick video for you on how to change the temperature on a Whirlpool fridge. I'll show you the specific model number here and also how you can find it in case your fridge looks different. But essentially, it's this kind of French door style uh, newer fridge. But again, this will work for all makes and models, but specifically I got a Whirlpool here that I'll be working on. So why might you want to change your fridge temperature? Biggest thing is pre preventing bacteria growth while also making sure that your food doesn't freeze. And I, the reason that I'm making this video is I noticed a couple days ago my food was starting to smell a little funky and it was going, uh, it was spoiling a lot faster than normal. So let me show you how to find the model number. So if you open up the fridge here specifically on this model, what you're looking for is on the jam somewhere you'll usually see the model number. So here, specifically on this model, let me keep that open here. I'll show you where I found this. Looking up here on the top of the jam, you can see there's the model number. So, and the cool thing I like that Whirlpool did is it shows you some information about the fridge. You know, how many, uh, uh, the current that it takes, um, how many watts each of these uh, things uses, the defrosting, the ice maker, obviously the type of Freon that's in there, and all that good stuff. Kind of interesting to know in case you ever need to do any electrical work. But without that said, that's how you find the model number. One more tip too I'll share is invest in one of these little laser thermometers. They're not the most accurate, but it's a good way to kind of show you temperature readings. And this door has been open, so obviously this is not going to be accurate. But, I mean, best to check right when you open up the fridge, you know, before the, all the air is let out. And it looks like it's, you know, between 36 and 40. So now that we've taken some readings on the inside just to know if what we got with our thermometer coincides with what our temperature is telling us. Next thing I'll do is you want to close the doors, make sure they are fully closed so that you can uh, work on the panel here. And what we'll be looking for, I'll zoom in here, is obviously for the temp button and we just hold that for three seconds. Now in choosing a desired temperature, you want to maximize both, you know, prolonging the life of your food, but also not freezing it. And I'll link an article in the description box below for um, an article from Consumer Reports about you know what temperature you should keep your fridge at. You know, you can take that with a grain of salt. Since mine has been kind of small and funky, I'm gonna put it down a little bit lower, maybe to 36, and this is how you change it up and down, these two buttons. And then once you're happy with your new desired temperature, you'll see here if you click Measured Full, you'll see Confirm, and that's it. And that is how you change the temperature on a Whirlpool fridge. Hope the video was helpful. If it was, I appreciate a like and a subscribe. Check out my other videos. I try and publish how-to videos weekly. And I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.